But you guys got another video here for you now if you've just updated Windows 10 uh, to the latest version and you're having issues like sound problems uh, maybe you've got some sort of issue like a graphics issue or something like that and it's not quite uh, working the way you want it to work and you want to roll back to the previous version then this video is for you now you've got 10 days to do so so watch this video and I'll show you how so right click on the start button and go system and this will tell you uh, what version you are running so you want to come down to where it says Windows specification here and you can see we've got version 1803 and also when it was installed so now we know what version we've got we need to check whether we can roll back so go to the start and the settings button and then inside here you want to click on update and security and this will give you uh, the option to click on the recovery button on the left hand side here and then on the right hand pane you should see go back to a previous version of Windows 10. Now if you don't see that then obviously uh, the 10 days have gone and you've now uh, missed the opportunity to roll back using this method. So you can see here when we click on this uh, it does give us the option to uh, go back to an earlier build and we're going to let it do its thing. Now it obviously wants to know the reason why you're rolling back and if, obviously I wouldn't advise you to roll back unless you're having massive issues with the latest version of Windows 10. So if you are having big issues and you can't uh, do what you want to do on that computer, then you want to roll back, then this is how you do it. But you need to act quickly, okay? So click Next, and it, what it will do is it will say, before we go back, try installing the latest updates. This might fix some problems that you're having with Windows 10. And that's always advisable. So if you've already updated, try updating again because there may be some updates that fix the previous update. So this is what you need to know. You can read all through here what's going to happen once you go back. You're going to have to reinstall some apps and programs. You're going to lose any changes made to the settings after installing the latest build and so on. OK, so make sure you understand all that. Your data should be safe, but you should always back up your data before doing a major rollback like this or update. It's always important because sometimes Windows does mess things up. Now the next prompt box is just warning you that you need to know the previous uh, password for the account that you had on the previous build, otherwise you'll be locked out. And of course next, you just have to click go back to the earlier build. It will then reboot the computer and start to reinstall uh, the previous build that you was using on that computer okay so it does take a bit of time so be patient it will restart here and you should see a black screen and then up will come restoring uh, your operating system here or something to the like there we go restoring your previous version of windows and that's pretty much it you just have to let that do its thing and uh, it should now roll back and reinstall the previous version of Windows 10 that you was using. And hopefully uh, you can update to the latest version once those bugs have been fixed. Anyway, my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.